myself, Scott. Uh, in this video, um, we're going to talk about uh, some advice uh, that my followers and viewers have uh, given me to share on behalf of all the people out there that self-harm. Um, it was Self-Injury Awareness Day last week and I did ask for guys for everyone else's um, opinions, everyone else's advice. Obviously I've got my own but I wanted to know what other people had to say and now I want to use uh, this video as an opportunity to share those ideas. Um, if you are someone that did share that advice, it's probably going to be on my Instagram profile. Um, if you did share that advice, put your Instagram uh, name below so you can take the credit for this because I'm not going to take any credit for this, okay? It's you, you my followers. I thank you very, very much uh, for sharing this advice. Without it, I couldn't make this video. Cool. So we've got, um, we've got 10 from you guys and then two more from myself. So yeah, let's get on with it. Number one, write feelings down. This is fantastic. Um, I put this first, not because it's my favorite or even the most effective. I just think all round it is fantastic. Okay, guys, write your feelings down. The very act of writing it down is, from a psychology point of view, is taking whatever you're thinking and giving expression to it. So you're do doing something uh, constructive with it rather than destructive by taking it out in your skin or your liver or however it is that you self-harm. Okay, write your feelings down. Number two, use a rubber band. Just get a rubber band on your wrist and ping it. Um, I was taught this one before and it is good. From a um, physical standpoint, it does give a similar sensation as to cutting. Um, and from a chemical perspective on your brain, it does release endorphins, which essentially, that's what self-harming does to give you that good sense of feeling. So the elastic band, give it a try. Get a nice old, um, get a, a slightly thinner one, I'd say, because I think uh, the narrower the surface area, the, the sharper it's gonna feel when it hits it, okay? Cool, number three, take a walk. This is a really good one. Um, it's something that I never did when I was self-harming, but something I do a lot nowadays. Uh, I walk to work every day, um, I don't use my car. Um, just gives me a chance to think about things, uh, which I think a lot of people really need to do. So when you've got that tension up there, you've got, you've got those feelings, and you need to get them out of your head without hurting yourself, go for a walk. The act of walking is gonna be taking notches off that tension, okay? And then it's gonna give you a chance to put things in perspective. And not only that, you've got that fresh air going into you, fresh air is fantastic for you, okay? Gives you a chance to be out in a, in, in a bit of freedom as well, which is good for your mindset. Um, number four, this is fantastic. I only just read this not long ago before making this video. It's um, create signs with inspiration on it. You don't need to be artistic. Um, if you are, you'll probably love doing this one. If you're not very artistic, it gives you an opportunity to be creative. Being creative in itself is a great way to um, redirect your urges to want to self-harm. But not only could you create, I don't know, like a lovely background or whatever, just something abstract or a pattern, and then put an inspirational sign, um, uh, quotation over it, that's fantastic. You could hang that up, you could look at it, be proud of it, and then you've got the actual quotation itself to um, help change your way of thinking, to positivize yourself. It's brilliant. Okay, number five, just talk to someone. I really like this one. That just goes without saying, you've got to talk to people. Um, it was once said to me that our minds are like batteries and we need to charge them. And the only way to charge them is actually just interaction and engaging with other people. When I'm really tired, I talk to my partner and she gets me all back to being like fantastic, okay? Talk to people, anyone, a friend, family, teacher, colleague, whatever. Um, and if you can't, don't feel like you can talk to anyone, come talk to me on my profile. Um, talk to me through my channel, uh, leave comments below, however you wanna do it, guys. Uh, go on my Instagram, I use that one quite a lot. So yeah, just talk to someone.